Hi there, it's Amanda Burbage and I want to show you how to convert a Word document to a PDF and then turn your PDF into a worksheet that could become a fillable form. So first you want to start with your Word document and you want to go ahead and format so that there's enough space for your students um, or your respondents to input their information. And it's in a Word document format, so I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to select the location where I'd like to save my files. In this case, I'm going to select Desktop. And I'm going to either keep the file name or, keep, or change it. But most importantly, I'm going to save as type. Use the drop-down menu to select PDF and then press Save. Now that Word document has been converted into a PDF. But what if you would like to distribute this PDF to a group of people who would then need to perhaps type or give responses in some way? In order to do that, what you'll do is go to the tools in your Adobe platform and select Forms to expand the drop-down items and select Create Form. In this case, Adobe is going to ask if we should use this existing file or open a new Word document and we'll tell it to use the existing. And it opened in a form screen where it gives me a new set of tools. Um, click Add New Field in order to see the fields that you could insert into your worksheet. Uh, the options include a list and a drop down box, but I'm going to keep it pretty simple and I'm going to add a text field. This first question is a short answer, and I like that Adobe gives me these grid lines so that I can make sure it's lined up where I'd like it to be. And once I see that my using my cursor, the blue box is placed, I simply left click and it inserts. And here I'm going to name the field name and you want to make sure each field has a unique name. So in my opinion, the easiest way to keep that organized is just by using the question number. So I'm just going to put field name number one and press enter and click off. All right, and now for number two, uh, does the brand offer a warranty? This looks like a yes or no question. I could insert a text field or I might uh, offer a, a, a yes or no button. And so I chose the radial button. I'm going to place it here and name it uh, question two. And then do another button for the no option. And finally, in question three, this looks like something that might be long. So I'm going to insert a text field, make sure it's lined there, and I'm going to hover my mouse over the square, which will allow me to left click and drag and expand the box. And uh, my naming field went away, but I can use my right menu here to right click, press rename, and I might just name it number three. One thing I do notice is that I forgot to type in the word yes and no here. So how would my students know which button went with which option? I could type in a text field myself. I could go back and change the original document and then reinsert these forms. Um, or I could, after I save the form, um, type it in, uh, type it in then. So now that my form is done, um, I simply uh, I simply press save and I'll save it to the desktop. I can preview the form so I can see what it looks like. And I can see what my students would see. See that missing text there. I can go back into the edit if I need to make some changes. And when I'm done, I will use the little X in the top right corner in order to close it out. And that's how you convert a Word document to a PDF and how you edit your PDF form.